everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with my uh, my lovely co-host this time, <laughs> uh, my good old friend Kenzie. Hello! I'm so glad to be back here again! Yuppers! <laughs> so, when was the last time I had you on here? I feel like it's been a hot minute for some reason. <laughs> it has been a hot minute, actually. Not so sure. I feel like November? Probably. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, it I, has been a while. I finally got you back into this uh, real-life studio that we're, we're sitting in, I guess. And then <laughs> yeah. we're, we're going to be reading some more total drama fan fiction as the request Let's of the go. wheel. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to be finishing the, the, the long-awaited book of Dawn X. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's your favorite. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then again, at least it's not um, Ala Tyler or Ala Duncan. Or Ala Noah or Ala. <laughs> yeah. Why is he <laughs> ship with so many people? That makes him sound like a man whore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we're on chapter 10 right now. And then, uh... We, we already made it this far. <laughs> yeah, we got halfway before we called it quits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember- I think we had you read for Don and Courtney's POV, and I read for Scott and then someone else. I think it was yeah. his- Rodney? Was that his name? I think it was Rodney, yeah. Yeah. So I guess we'll- we'll keep That's that Scott's up. brother? Or cousin? I think it's a plot in this story. I don't. It's not. I don't think it's canon in total drama. That, but uh, yeah, it is his brother in this book. Okay, I, I thought so. Yeah. yeah. So I love the ads I'm getting. They won't see this later on when I edit. But I keep getting brands for fucking is, oh birds bees chapstick. I don't want. That. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's better than getting advertised like an air fryer. So I got. I guess I gotta pick my battles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Alright, since this starts with Scott's POV, I guess I'll be reading first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Scott's POV. So far this year has gone by pretty good. Perfect grades, no Courtney drama, and I have no enemies pretty much since me and Don are on good terms. But this was senior year. You're supposed to make it extra special. Leave your mark. I was walking around the farm, doing just doing some stuff. I couldn't believe it was... October already. Time to scare the little kids and give them candy and go to parties <laughs> and grow the pumpkins. Wait, giving kids candy? No, I like scaring them, but their faces bright with joy. Or maybe it's sugar rush? Anyway, I guess I have a tiny soft spot. <laughs> After I finished my chores, I got la I got last night's home wait. Yeah, I got last night's homework in my bags, and I left for Dawn's house to see if I can get a ride. She usually pulled up in my front yard, but today, I feel like going over to her house. When I got there, I saw the, the white two-story house looming over me like a giant. There were some Halloween decorations on the porch, and her car was there, but I didn't see her anywhere. I walked up to the porch and could hear shuffling inside. I knocked the, yeah, I knocked the door nicely. Which I usually didn't do. I heard a voice saying, Be there in a second! I waited outside looking at the yard. There was a, s a black truck next to Don's car. And there were as many windows that I couldn't remember seeing. Wait. Yeah, there were so many windows that I didn't remember- Okay. What- <laughs> Sorry, I just short-circuited. I'm like, why does it matter about the windows <laughs> on a car? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly... Yeah, lastly, a few willow trees look nice. Once the door opened, I saw a lady in her mid-forties, I guess it was Dawn's mom, and the smell of bacon and pancakes wafting in the air. I didn't realize I didn't eat any breakfast this morning. Oh, you must be one of Dawn's friends. I guess you're Scott, since Nina was here before. You know, I'm glad you and my daughter made, made up after that show. She blabbered for ages. Is Dawn here? Uh, she usually gives me a ride to school, I said. Oh, she hasn't woken up yet. Dawn, get up, your friend's here. She yelled the last part. Come, enjoy some breakfast. I got plenty for you, Scott. 
As much as she talked, she really wasn't that bad. You know, you'll be perfect for my daughter. You know, with a boyfriend? Her mother said, <laughs> while handing me a platter of pancakes, bacon, and rivers of syrup. I also love, like, how, you, how you're giving her kind of, like, that... That bit of like a Jersey accent, <laughs> like pretty. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's the Jersey coming out of me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I nearly choked on the piece of delicious pancake I was eating when she said that. We're just friends, I said as I started, as I started thinking of me and Don as a couple. Oh, too bad. I heard her say. All right. <laughs> All you girl. Mom, mom, I'm mom. I'm leaving. I'm late. I, I'm supposed to pick up. I'm supposed to pick up Scott 15 minutes ago and everything. I'll stop by Starbucks and get me something. I won't star. Give me something. I won't star star myself again. I said in a rush as I entered the kitchen. I felt someone. I felt someone's presence. Ah, creepy girl. I came for a visit. I heard Scott. I heard Scott say. What? Scott. I'm sorry. I overslept and I said. Oh, oh, only to get cut off by my mom and him. Do you want me to read for her mother? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Sorry, I love the accent you give her. Like, it's funny. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you two better get going, you lovebirds. Yeah, and I know you're not dating blah, blah, blah teenagers these days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get going, Don. <laughs> he said, he thanked my mother for the meal when we left. Once we got in the car, I noticed how Dawn looked today. She had her hair down, like on the show. Some, some band tee and some jeans. Her eyes were sparkling, and she looked like a model down, down the runway. So your mom was really nice, I said. Yeah, she's pretty cool, but she has her flaws, and she acts different ever since what happened a few years back. Oh, and anything she said about relationships, just ignore it, she said casually. <laughs> We then arrived at school and part of our ways. See you in last period, Don. Yep. See you too, Scott. Beautiful. I love this person at the bottom. Yes. That was like, I stand this mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Yo, you're telling me that chapter 11 is continued after chapter 10? That's crazy. <laughs> right? <laughs> I would have never guessed that. <laughs> right. <laughs> After a busy day I had, I went to my locker and pulled out my history textbook and some more pencils. Then I walked into my class at my science seat I've kept all year. Don ha hadn't got here yet. I overheard a conversation. Who's going to the bash? I heard someone say. I am, if I get a date, another said. Oh, that's right. The high school is hosting a Halloween bash. It's pretty much a costume party, only for Jefferson's high school. Yeah, Jefferson High students. I'd never gone until last year when I went with Courtney. I'll probably just go just to get out of the house. Where the hell is going? Right then, Dawn came in. She looked exactly like she did with this morning. Her hair looked like it did in the show, and I kind of liked it. Hi, Scott, she said as she sat down in front of me. Uh, hey, Dawn. I, I got ner kind of nervous for no reason. That, or I haven't found out the reason yet. Dun dun dun! <laughs> <laughs> After class ended, I went to my locker and there was Corny. What do you want, Corny? I need to get to my locker, I said, gesturing to the metal blocks behind her. I want another chance. I'm sorry for everything I did to make you mad, Scotty. Just please give me another, she said, before I cut her off to say, No, I moved on. I need good. You need to move on. <laughs> But it's kind of, <laughs> but it's kind of hard. I'm pretty handsome. I say. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to pull up a picture of Scott so I can start roasting this man? <laughs> right. <laughs> he is not the shit. <laughs> Third, do you own a mirror? Do you know what you look like? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you going to the bash this year alone? She asked. Then, all the kids in the hall crowded in our conversation. I didn't know what to say. I was about to just walk away when Don came into my rescue. No, he's not. Now, now, can you do what he asked? He asked you to leave. 
Oh, and since I'm here, can you stop bullying me? I'm kind of sick of it. She said, the ooze from everyone signaling the most popular girl in school just got burnt by Dawn. Courtney then walked off, muttering something to Dawn. Thanks, Dawn. If you weren't here, my ego would have been toast, I said, thanking her for my help. No problem. <laughs> we don't want someone's ego destroyed, would we? She said. I thought I was going with now Dawn- wait. <laughs> I thought who I was going with now Dawn said I wasn't going alone. Well, I guess you're going with me? She said. I- did I just say that out loud? I asked. <laughs> that, and it was written in your un- Wait, I'm really struggling. <laughs> that, and it was I'm written in your unpredictable aura you have, she replied. <laughs> there we go. I had, I had no intention in putting myself in the role as Scott's date, but here I am. His quote-unquote date for, for, the bat, for the bash thing next weekend. I wasn't even planning on going. I had just dropped him off. Off at his, off at his front at his front gate, just a few houses away, just a, just a few houses away from mine. I, I I walked into my house with a note on the back door in the kitchen. It said, "Working late, won't be back until 10:30. Love, Mom and Wesley." Unlike most parents, they put the note on the back on the back door since, since I since I use it since I use it. I I I leave to go meditate or concentrate, and sometimes we're working on the project Scott and I are working on. I, I, I walked to my I walked to my room. It it had blue walls and purple curtains and wooden floors. I sat on my bed with with, with home with my homework and, and finished it so 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 I could do my normal things before I get before I get some sleep tonight. I then felt I then I then felt my phone buzz in my pocket. I saw Nina's number and quickly answered it. Hello, I said. Hey, I can't believe it. You are incredible. And I sent a little something in the air with you and Scott. Tell me, tell me now, she said. How? Who the fuck is how, Nina how again? <laughs> oh, I think, think, think that was like Dawn's friend or something. Oh yeah, th that's like her first friend when she gets to high school, right? Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't for a character I, being named yeah. Nina in this. <laughs> how? How am incredible? I I asked. <laughs> you, 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 you stood up. You stood up to Courtney. I can't. I can't remember the, la the last person who stood up to her. She squealed. Okay, calm down. And what do you mean, me and Scott? Okay, everyone thinks you two are 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 going together because of the locker incident er earlier today. But 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 I think it'll be. But I think it'll be more. Be more than that. I could ima I can imagine that wing she she had in her face right this very moment. It's just a dance. Nothing too exciting. Now, I gotta go. See ya, I said as her line hung up. Does everyone think we're dating? I was walking around on the farm when I see a neighbor. I think his name is Zachary. Point is, he looked like me and said, Is it true your girlfriend stood up to your ex? Oh, dude, that's really cool. I didn't think Don was, was very tough. He sounded excited. Who the fuck is Zachary? <laughs> <laughs> the random guy? I guess so. Yeah. Um, first of all, I am perfectly single at the moment, and two, no, they just had a verbal moment. Nothing shocking. Oh, still shocking, though, I said to him as he ran off to do whatever. I walked into the house when Rodney came up to me, all happy and such. What's going on, I asked. Oh, nothing much. Just said you got- Just said you got a girlfriend, or at least a date to the bash. Good job, little bro. Mom would be happy. He said as Pop, Poppy entered and nodded, and Alberta patted my back. I quickly made an excuse and went to my room. Wow, gossip and rumors passed by quickly. Does everyone think we're dating? <laughs> <laughs> I love it when two characters both have the same realization. <laughs> right? <laughs> they all think we're dating? <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> it's not like we're seen together for, like, the majority of the time. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> oh, this, is, this is great. Yeah. This is great. I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm glad. I know this is your favorite chip, so I know you're really excited to finish this book. 
Yeah. <laughs> sure am. <laughs> I was shopping for costumes with Dina and Ella. Ella decided to visit again and was leaving later today. Don't don't they ever make costumes that aren't that aren't slutty? <laughs> Nina asked. <laughs> Afraid not, Ella said. If they do, they get sold out fast. I said I said to them. Yeah, they they do. Are you going to buy a costume here, Don? Ella asked. Um, uh, most likely not. I don't have money, I said. I lied. I had plenty of money, but I had my reasons. She she, she doesn't want she doesn't want Scott to look at her legs the, the whole entire time. It'll just ruin the dance for her, Nina said with a, the smile on her face. Now Ella gasped. So you and Scott are so you and Scott are dating? When 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 were you when were you planning on telling me? She said. Um. Well, we aren't dating. We we we're, we're just going as friends. I said. Oh sure. For now, Nina said to Ella with smirks on their faces. Sometimes I feel like they could read the future. I mean, even I can't. I I then I then picked up a costume that wasn't slutty. It was it was a fortune teller's costume with beautiful blues, purples, and silvers. And, and, and a few shades of black and gold. Hmm. The other two, the, the other two le leaned in to see what I was holding. You know, that would be perfect on you. And it's so you, they said. I, I looked at what Ella and Nina got. Ella got a fairy costume. Same thing as last year. And, and, and Nina got this nice hippie costume. I, I thought about it for a moment. Should I get it? I usually I usually didn't dress up for this holiday since I'm always staying home just doing my homework and and, and handing out candy to, to the rare to the rare few kids who, who thought my house was normal. They all thought it was haunted because of well me. Yeah, that's kind of fucked I, up. I, yeah, damn. That's it's sad. like one of those urban legend things, like in this small community, the right legend says that it's haunted as hell and that a murder happened there, and it's just a girl that's just like a little weird that like they just spread rumors about her house. Yeah. <laughs> <We're> fucked up. <laughs> I I I guess I'll take it then. I mean, I need to dress up for this a bit and all. I, I said as we walk I, I said as we walked to the cash register to pay for the costumes and any accessories we bought. I remembered how me and my family would shop for costumes. And, and candy back when I was a little kid. Though th those were really good times. Who thought who thought that the two guys wouldn't be here anymore? Okay, there we go. I was in my room at the farm thinking about what I can dress up as for tomorrow. I knew me and Da would probably be wearing something completely different, but does it matter? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I quickly thought of something and decided it was okay. I'm keeping it a surprise. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> I was walking outside for Don to pick me up, looking like the most handsome- <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to say that- <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard for my brain to concept that God is handsome, because he's not. <laughs> he isn't at all. <laughs> looking like the most handsomest cowboy I've ever seen, I looked through the window and quickly made myself look better. I then saw car Dawn's car pulling by the gate. It was kind of hard to see what she w was because of the tinted windows. I ran to the car and opened the passenger seat. She looked beautiful. She had a bu blue and purple outfit on and with some jewelry that I bet her friends got her. And, and she was re a really good fortune teller. Not that bad looking. <laughs> I'm gonna cringe at my own shit. <laughs> Great. Well, howdy there, miss, I said, acting like the cowboy I was. I didn't expect no cowboys, she said with a smirk. We both laughed as I got in the car. She carefully made sure that she didn't hurt any children that were starting to walk around on the hunt for candy. Okay. But once we got there, I saw couples making out by the lockers, flashy costumes, and bright lights, and lots of vampire vampires, fairies, elves, and many more fictional characters dancing on the floor. We found some of her friends hanging out, and we and we talked for a while. When a song when a song came on, they all liked. Come on, let's go dance, Scott said, gently tugging my hand. Oh, okay. 
But I'm not, but I'm not a good dancer, I said. That's fine, we just need to enjoy it. Besides, I have two big, I, I have two big left feet, he said. I felt my cheeks heat up as we danced, but it's dark, so I'm pretty sure no one else saw. saw. Wait, am I? No. Yes? After the dance, we, we left laughing our, we left laughing our heads off. I, I haven't had I haven't had that much fun in a long time. That was really fun, I said, trying to calm my laughter down. Yeah, it was, he said. We should do that again sometime, I heard a voice I heard a voice in my head say. Oh. Oh, I oh I I know I know we should I know what we should do before we go home. He he said with that evil smirk of his looking of of his looking out the window. And that is? I asked. Shush, it's a surprise. I'll drive, he said. He said. Hey, hey, if I get a request to sit in the passenger seat for once, I'm, I'm not giving up that easy. He stopped at the convenience store and came back with a huge pile of toilet paper. Next, we went to the other side of town. I didn't recognize the street the, the street full of empty houses with no lights no lights on or kids running around in costumes. He, 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 then, he then pulled up he pu pulled up an old brick house with, bar with Barlow on the mailbags. He's, he's wanting to visit his ex? She, she doesn't deserve him. She doesn't deserve him. He then signals, and, and we got out. Oh, oh, now this makes sense. We're, we're going to TP her house. Deserve. <laughs> yes, ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. Scott is based for this. Yeah, the only good thing that Scott's done so far in this fan fiction is TP Courtney's house. <laughs> rare Scott W. Yeah, rare Scott W. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. but, but if we get... But but what if we get caught? I whispered. We won't. Trust me, he whispered back. Don isn't used to the fun, I guess. I'll show her. We both we were both throwing rolls of toilet paper on trees, the patio, and everything else. This is fun, Don said. Duh, if it wasn't, we wouldn't be here, I said, chuckling quietly. I then felt my cheeks burn. Wait. <laughs> Hers looked slightly pink too, but I didn't think much of it. We were left. We then left, knowing Courtney would be home any minute now. Goodbye, cowboy. Thank thanks for the great time, she said when she dropped me off. See you, creepy girl, I said as she drove away happily. I then walked <gasps> in and took off my hat, and I saw my family. Looks like someone had fun, Alberta said. I simply nodded and told Rodney and her the story and how much fun we had. <laughs> I came home to see my mom and Wesley watching some old horror movie on the couch. They turned and, and, and paused the movie. Hi, hi, Don. How how'd your day how'd your day go? Wesley asked. My mom wanted the my mom wanted the whole cold, cold hard truth, so I told the story. After the conversation, I quickly changed to my pajamas and got some sleep. Let go. Oh, this is author's so note. Yep. Skip it. <laughs> yep. Skip. I, I was walk I was walking to my locker at school. You you could hear numerous whispers of rumors and gossip about the Halloween bash and all that. When, once I got to my locker, I grabbed all my supplies, only to drop them because I bumped into Courtney and her two side friends. I know you did it, Don. You and Scott, she said. What do you mean? I asked. You 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 guys ruined my locker. I had my debates, my homework, my makeup. You two ruined it. She barked at me. <laughs> then I heard laughing from behind us as I turn to see another competitor. He goes by the name of Duncan. Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> Duncan, oh! Also, <laughs> I, I would love to add that, like, Courtney bitching about the locker okay. thing reminded me of Sharp Boy and Lava Girl with that kid that's like, he ruined my dream journal! <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that scene. Yeah, that's what reminded me of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Send him to the principal's office and have him expelled! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. He goes by the name of Duncan. Ha ha ha. Oh, princess. You're so easy to trick. Ha ha ha. Oh man, if only the boys were here to see this. He said laughing uncontrollably. Courtney, Courtney then flinched at the name of Princess. She turned slowly, worried that it was 
Just a dream or something. D Duncan? What are you doing here? I thought you were in jail, she said. Nope. I go here now. And Don didn't mess up your locker. I did. He smirked. Of course he did. <laughs> it's, so, it's, it's so obvious they still like each other. It's in their auras. I picked up my stuff and walked to the other side of the building. When I got there, I sat down. But then Ms. Kinley said, Don, could you, could you please go give these to Mr. Claudle in room 247? It, it's on the other side of the building, and you know me. I'm an old lady who can't walk without, without this walker of mine. Miss Kinley was an 89-year-old woman who is really nice. I'm surprised she hasn't retired yet. Oh yes, Miss Kinley, I, I said as she handed me a bunch of papers. I was in my class just being bored and wasting time since Mr. Claudel was waiting for some papers he desperately needed. I then heard a knock at the door. Scott, go get the dang door. Kids these days, waiting for their commands, he said. He reminded me me of Mike's multi personality disorder that I had to buy me on a few <laughs> I, I got oh wait I think oh, okay I got up and opened the door to reveal Dawn she looked almost exactly like she did on the island wearing a sweater and the denim shirt hi Scott Mr. Quaddle I have some papers from Miss Kinley she said as she walked into the door after class it was time for lunch I usually sat with the guys, but today was a little weird. I walked over to them and said, Hey guys. And as soon as I sat down, they replied, Oh no, you can't sit here today. Be weird, huh? I then saw Dawn sitting at a table. She didn't seem to care if anyone was going to sit by her or not. Hey, is it okay if I sit with you? The guys are being weird, I said. She looked up at me and said, Yeah, of course, she said nodding. Dawn, when, when, when are we going to work on this project again? We're almost finished, and I was wondering. I said as I take a fry off of her tray. Well, we could maybe tomorrow. I'm kind of busy at school today, and you're right. We are almost finished. She smiled at me. Her smile was really, really pretty. Wait, I think I'm starting to fall for Dawn. Maybe just a little. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> How dare this man have a crush? It's ag yes. against the rules of the balance of attraction. I don't know, some dumb shit. <laughs> right. I was in a lotus position in my room, too too cold to go too cold to go to the sanctuary. When I felt my door open, I looked up to see my mom. She had her bright blonde hair in a, in a braid and and had her a and had her apron on, signaling signaling she was cooking. My mom loves to cook, especially around the holidays, which, speaking of, Thanksgiving wasn't too far away. Hey, mom, I said. You want me to do uh, her mom? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Sure. Sure. Dawn, I want you to call Scott over here and ask him if he wants to eat dinner with us. She, she, she said at the door. Okay, I'll go over there in a minute. Just let me put on some, some warmer clothes, I replied. I quickly changed it into a green sweater, similar to the one I wore on Total Drama. With, with, with some rare pair of jeans. It it was put outside due due due, due, due to its November. I, I then I then decided to put on some boots and I walked over to his house. I was on the farm taking care of all the animals. It sounded like I had anything better to do when I overheard someone's conversation. Oh yes, come on, he's outside! I'm sure he would love that, I heard Alberta say. <laughs> That's when a two silhouettes came out of the house, trying to ignore the cold as much as they could. It was Alberta and Don. Oh, Scott, someone's here to see you! Alberta yelled on the porch, pointing at the shivering Don. Don's here. I'm still confused on how to feel about her. I talked to Rodney about it. He says that I am falling for her. I quickly <laughs> ran up to the porch. Hey, Don! I said nervously. I wonder why she's here. <laughs> I, I have never been inside Scott's house before. It, it was at the door knocking, hoping he would answer it. Oh, I was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when, when, when it opened, it revealed a girl. Her aura had colors meaning protective, generous, and much more. She smiled as she almost instantly recognized me. Hello there, Dawn. I'm Alberta, Scott's only sister. I've heard so much about you. Please come inside, 
Please come inside or you'll freeze, she said, welcoming welcoming me in. Even though we just met, I feel like I've know, known her my whole life. I then, I then saw two other guys with super nice auras. I could, I could tell it was Scott's father and brother. Pop, Poppy, Rodney, this is Dawn. The, the, one girl, the one girl who went with Scott to the, to the dance a few weeks back. D Dawn, this is, Dawn, this is Pappy and Rodney. So, some more relatives of ours. They, they, they seem to like me instantly. Five, five minutes later. Hey, the Dawn, Scott said to me. I, I could feel my heart beating so fast it would bur burst out. Hi, Scott. Do you want to have dinner at my house? My, my family wanted to get to know you. Uh, yeah, just give you a moment, he said. He, he then walked off happily to do something. When Alberta asked, you, you like, you like, you like Scott, don't you? I didn't really know, know how to answer this, but I was going to tell, tell her the honest answer. I'm not exactly sure. I feel so weird and happy and I get nervous and I've never had a boyfriend before. I said, I said, continuing how I felt. Oh my, you do like Scott. Well, honestly, I think you're perfect for him. For him, now go," she said. Ha "Now go," she said, happily and pointing to Scott, ta talking to his brother, at Don's house. I was now at Don's house. It felt very warm and welcoming. I saw her mother again, and a man I never seen before. I guess that's her stepfather. I was sitting across yeah. from her parents, which I felt nervous. What if they don't like me? What if they hate me? I try to hide these questions because they weren't we weren't even dating. I just I just know that I like her. So, Scott, do you have any siblings? Her dad asked while handing me a plate of yummy foods. Uh why yes sir, I, I do. Uh I have five brothers and a sister that I help at the farm every day, which I'm the youngest. I answered. They went on to ask me questions and such. I'm pretty sure they like me so far. After dinner, Dawn walked me back to my place. It was super cold, and, and it looked like she hated the cold. I could hear her chattering. I then took- No! Oh. No! It's too early for this shit! <laughs> Fine. I'll read it, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I then took off my coat and put it around her. Thanks, she said. No problem. Thanks for inviting me over to your house, I said. I then, s s <laughs> I then saw her cheeks uh, turn pinkish. Anytime, Scott. You're welcome to come over anytime you like, she said. I was I was now <laughs> in my house. You can keep the jacket. I got plenty of others. And if you can come over anytime, maybe, and work on the project, I said. He then nodded and walked off, smiling. One of the most beautiful smiles I've ever seen. <laughs> I read it. I'm not happy about it, but I did read it. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Chapter 15. I was in town waiting for Scott to get there. We are going to finish our project. I, I, th I think we make a really good team. Oh, I hope he gets here soon. It's really cold outside. I heard it might snow today. I pull out some breadcrumbs to feed all the animals while I wait. They all, they all look so hungry. I could I could have let them starve. I then got into Lotus position to calmly meditate as I waited for Scott. I was at the farm goofing around with my family. It's been a while since we've done anything better. Oh, done anything together, so we decided to just goof off the day away. I feel like I was forgetting something. I just hope it, it doesn't snow while we're out here. It would make it even colder. I was playing with Ron. I was playing with Ronnie a game we played sometimes. I usually won. We were having so much fun till I heard Alberta say something. Hey Scott, where's your jacket? I mean, I know you're wearing one, but I mean with the leather one. I think gas that that realization hit me. I forgot Don and I were supposed to finish up our project. Oh crap. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm sorry, I gotta go do something, I said as I ran outside. It's been three hours. How long am I going to wait for him to get here? I I I even finished the project. I, I got up to walk home as I felt something on my nose. It was snow. Just my luck. God ditched me, and it's snowing when it's not winter yet. I quickly, I, I quickly ran to my car, to my car as I as I saw a speck of orange in the distance. Don, wait up! I'm here now. Scott yelled. 
I was very, I was very angry. He, he, he's just now getting here. So, so I ignored him. He, he, he then panted as he got here and said, "Hey, Don, sorry." i He said, "It's fine. I've been waiting here for, I've been waiting here for three hours in the snowing cold. I'm perfect." I, I have to go, Scott. I said sarcastically. What? No, we gotta finish. He said. I already, I already finished. I, I could have used your help, though. I said. I'm sorry, Don. Please don't be mad. He pleaded. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't, why I shouldn't be mad. I thought you changed. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. I said to him. This, th I said to him. This, this. He said. He said right before his lips met mine. No! Oh. Wait, what? We were so close! Yeah! Damn it! Dang. <laughs> Continued after chapter 15. Oh god, now I have to read this shit! <laughs> I'm not happy about it though, but I will read it. I couldn't hold it in any longer. I liked Don a lot. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't be mad. I thought you changed. Maybe. Maybe I was wrong, she said. This, I said as I kissed her, unconsensually. <laughs> and, and guess what? I, I don't want to guess. <laughs> and guess what? She kissed back. Oh. I could feel oh. her heart beating faster like mine. Maybe faster even. Oh my gosh. I hate myself. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Is this a good enough reason? Because if I were you, it would be, I said smirking at her. She then blushed really hard. Her cheeks were like the strawberries we grew last year on the farm. She sighed and said this. Yes, Scott, it was. And I like you a lot. I don't know how long these feelings have been here, but I'll admit it. I like you more than a friend. And I, she said, as I kissed her again. Again, unconsensual. <laughs> was that to shut me up? She asked. No, it wasn't, Don. I... I too have feeling, have these feelings. I feel the exact same way you do. But will you, um... Be my... I said, as she cut me off to say, YES! And hugged me. I honestly liked this hug. I liked everything about it. Two weeks later... <laughs> no one's pop. <laughs> everyone was at Don's house for a lovely Thanksgiving dinner. Well, Scott and her family were eating dinner, all except Don. Oh, eating turkey, all except Don. I guess she, she's vegetarian, right? Or vegan? Yeah. 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 No, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> and plenty of other delicious food. No one had any idea that Scott and Don were. Uh, wait, about Scott and Don just yet. They planned to tell everyone today. The two stood up nervously and had how this might end. We want to say a few things. First of all, happy holidays to both families. Don said as everyone listened. And there's something else more important that you should know, Scott continued. They held their hands and they could hear everyone say things like, aw and, or I knew it, or in Nina's case, it's about time. Ellen, I have waited and waited. So yeah, I'm fangirling right now. <laughs> everyone was happy. They were accepted. This was not the ending just yet. Wait, what fucking chapter are we on? Is there only one more after this? Yeah, there's one more chapter after this, and then this is done. Yeah, so this is this is wrapping up fast. I feel like I feel like we just got like we had a premise at the beginning, and it was like slowly going, and then all of a sudden it was just like downhill of like how fastly moving everything has been. Yeah. It was so good, and then they just like, and then they, and then they just kind of like just pushed it so that way it's like, okay, we need to get them together now. So yeah, it felt a little rushed, but I guess it's if yeah. it's only eighteen chapters and the chapters aren't that long, you gotta do something with it. Yeah. I was at my house. Oh, sorry. Sorry, no, no, go. <laughs> okay. I was at my house. I was at my house just doing just doing finishing some Christmas gifts. I couldn't believe how fast this year has gone by. I, I met new people, met old ones. I, I've been more, I've been more social. I've even got my first boyfriend, Scott. I wish dad, I, I wish dad was here. Dawson too. 
they they would love him. That that that, and it's even more pain, and it's even more painful knowing I'm spending another Christmas without them. I I then felt tears running down my face. I I know I should be happy. It's the day before Christmas Eve. It's hard knowing that your mom won't be here on Christmas. She she travels for, she travels for for a living along along with my stepdad, and that your twin brother and your biological dad are dead. I then felt a cold wind come from the air. I then saw Caitlin, my twenty three year old sister. She and I always spent Christmas together. Don, where are you? Don, where are you? I'm here. Where's those hugs I get? She then walked into my living room. Hey, why are you crying? Is it Dad and Dawson? She asked. I nodded. Yeah, yeah, but it's fine. I was just thinking they, they won't get to see us. Or meet him, I said. Him? There, there's a guy now? Who is he? Where is he? She said. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I didn't tell her about Scott. I then felt another cold wind from the hallway. Oh, Don, I got you something. But you can't open it until tomorrow, Scott, Scott said, entering the living room. I then got up and hugged him. Caitlin, is this the answer to your... To, to your question? Scott, Scott, this is my older sister Caitlin. She they they they, they seemed to get along just fine. Which was which was all I wanted. The next day, I woke up on the couch in Scott's arms. Hey Don, it's good to see you again, a familiar voice said. Scott then stirred up waking up w waking up to the voices. I looked up to see two other com two other competitors for my season there. Zoe and Mike, my other friends. Hey guys, it's good to see you, I said. Oh, look at you go- Oh! Um, oh, oh, look, oh, look, look, you guys are a couple too, Mike, sked, Mike said to Scott. Yeah, for, for a month and a half now, he said. Later that night, the seven of us, Nina, Nina and Ella came over too. We're, 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 we're all around my house. We were watching Christmas specials, opening gifts, and, e and eating some of the treats my sister cooked. Zoe then poked my shoulders, Scott too, and guess what? Mistletoe, of course. Of course, there's fucking mistletoe. Yeah. And they're gonna kiss underneath it. <laughs> wow, what an absolute classic that I didn't want in here. <laughs> right. You, you, you know what happened next? I couldn't have asked for a better Christmas. Could you? The end. I could have by not watching. <laughs> no, not really. Right. Wait, there's yeah. still one more chapter. How does this end? Oh, it's an epilogue. It's an epilogue. Okay. Let go. It's basically a few peaks in their life after this story. Okay. Oh, okay. I was at their graves. J j j I was at their graves, j j j just sitting there with the flowers. Scott wanted to come, but I, but but I told he shouldn't. I I went to the town I grew up in. J I I gr I grew up in just to see my just to see my dead brother and dad's graves. I, I wonder what I wonder what would have changed if they were still alive. I, I I then felt another presence nearby. I look up I looked up to see to see it be Scott. I thought you weren't supposed to come. I I asked, holding back holding back any tears. <laughs> well, you said I shouldn't, but but I know my lovely girlfriend needs her awesome boyfriend to comfort her. He said as he hugged me. Only thing is for certain certain they they would both they would both approve Scott. Three, three years, three years later. Oh, okay. Well, like this one, we know it. I don't know if I will. Yeah, another time skip, I guess. <laughs> I, I was with Zoe. We grew, we, we grew closer as friends since we, since, since we went to the same college. We, 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 we weren't at the mall. I know I don't, I know I don't go much. I know much, go, I, don't, I don't go much. Zoe was definitely hiding something from me. But that, but... But that was it? Oh my, is she? No. Then my phone went off. Hello? Don? Zoe? Get down here. Get, get down here. Scott is fighting, Mike said. When, once, we got, once we got to the little diner on Main Street, there was no fighting. Instead, everyone was eating like usual. Silly Don, Zoe said. <laughs> then, then, then Scott, then, then Scott came, came out of like... Then Scott came out of like nowhere. He instantly got down on... Got, no! got down on one knee. I- Oh my gosh! I, is he- is he- He's proposing! <laughs> already? I mean, After only three years? I mean, that's not- that's not bad. I mean, some people well, get married in like three months, so I guess- Well, okay. Yeah, true. Um, okay, okay, fair. 
I kind of see where this was going, but but the, but but then again, not. Da, da, Don, Don, you are the best, and I know we and I know we've had a, we've had a few minor bumps in the road, but but I'm going to keep this short. I love you, and I'll remember this moment. With with with, with your confused face, just like all the other times, like graduation from high school, and, and then you agreed to be my girlfriend. Will Will you marry me? I looked around at the people eating. They were all enjoying this moment. Yes, I said with complete joy. With complete joy and 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 hugged him with my arms. Six years later. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, this doesn't look like it's a specific point of view. So if you want, I can I can reach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I get, I think this is no one's POV. So. Yeah. Don and Scott were in their house that they shared for six years now. Damn, I wish I could buy a house <laughs> like out of college. Right. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of fucking money Don Scott getting? Because I know it's not from yeah. Scott's side, being a farmer. <laughs> Don was fixing some dinner for her and Scott. Scott was still at work, but would be home soon. After Scott came home and had dinner, Don had something important to say. Scott? Yes? I- <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll do- I'll do it over again. <laughs> God? Yes? I'm pregnant. Dom- <laughs> Dom was nervous how Scott would react. Luckily, he took it well. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> We're gonna be parents! I'll be a father! You be a mom- well, of course. <laughs> Five years later. Don and Scott were happily playing with their twins! Oh. Haley and Dawson. Okay. Oh. Dawson, after Don's brother, he even looked like him. Haley had red hair and freckles like her dad, but mature like her mother. I, I would like to say, well, actually, since they're, they're not like identical twins, they're like fraternal, because one's male, one female, so I guess they can yeah. look different. I was like, like yeah. actually, they, they shouldn't be able to look different. Especially one having <laughs> blonde hair and the other one's a fucking ginger. There's no way that should be possible. Yeah. I don't know, it's been a while since I took a science class, but... <laughs> the, the two children love their parents very dearly and would be starting school next year. I'm gonna do the most stupidest voice right now, so just bear with me. Okay. <laughs> we love you, Daddy. We love you, Mommy. They said they all would say all the time, and then their parents would reply, "We love you too." And Scott would say, "Who wouldn't love your mother?" And they were a happy family. <laughs> Yay! The <yeah>. end. <laughs> Finish. Done. <laughs> oh. Why does every epilogue total drama thing that I read always end in fucking pregnancy? Why? Right. It doesn't need to happen. Two people can just yeah. like each other and not have that happen. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it either. It's weird. No, fuck it. I'm 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 voting for this. I voted. This is the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what'd you what'd you Pretty think? Good. I'm gonna yeah. lie. Like, I do think it, it, the story with their love story did felt a bit rushed at the end, but aside from that, but, but aside from that, it was pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Is this, this is probably the second book that we finished, that we've started, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, honestly. I think so. I guess we did finish the Lightning X Reader and whatnot, and the TMO yeah. thing. I think that's still good, but... Honestly, compared to the ones that we have started and readed and finished reading, I kind of like it. Me too. Me too, honestly. I'm trying to think, because I feel like uh, for this book, I'm trying to think, for the ones that we completed, I feel like the Brick and Lightning one are top tier and whatnot, from how beautifully it was written and just like the un like the, the characters and whatnot. And then probably the Bridget and... Uh, Jeff won second, and probably this book third. Because we still yeah. have other books that are still going. Still. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I, this, is, this is an awesome fucking read. What? It was. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Even though we hated some bits of it. it yeah. You can hate something and still like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 
Yeah, like, like, I make fun of, like, um... Like, I love Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel. Sure, I make fun of certain bits of it, but do I still love it? Yeah. I mean, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 me too. But uh, if you guys would like to check out this book, I'll have it linked down below in the description. Read it with your friends if they want. If you got anyone that is a big Don X Scott fan, uh, yeah. first off, why would you be friends with them? And that second, you should share this book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> now it's time for us to, to spin the wheel to decide uh, what we're going to be doing next time. <laughs> okay. I'm very frightened. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I swear, every time I, like, pull up the wheel, I get, like, flashbanged because I, everything I have is in dark mode, and this is the one thing I have that doesn't go into that mode. Yeah. I d just put the background as being black. It doesn't- it's not hard. Anyway, <laughs> we got a lot of options, including Alec finally gets the divorce, so- Yep. <laughs> I guess let's spin the wheel and decide what we're doing next time. Yep. <laughs> Hoping for another Alejandro one. Oh! Oh! We're going oh, to Pokemon! Oh, oh. Let's go! <laughs> yes! I actually really like this ship, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's like one of my favorite Poke ships. Let's go. So, I think you have a good one picked out for this, right? Um, I have a really good one picked out for us to read. Mm hmm. I can't wait to see what you what you have, dog. Yes, it's yes. You're. I promise you, you're going to love it. It's, it's one of the best written fanfics I've probably ever read. Let's go, honestly, oh, dog. Yeah, it's really good. All right. Well, I guess stay tuned for that. I cannot wait. Yes, <laughs> me too. Well, uh, well, thank you so much for joining me again, Kenzie. It was it was an of absolute course. pleasure. Having you yeah. again as a co-host on this. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, uh, I'll have Kenzie's channel linked down below in the description. Uh, do follow her and whatnot. She makes some cool content about this venture camp and then some other total drama content and whatnot. So definitely follow her if you want some want some of that action. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. Uh, that was Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye.